What's up, Aquarius? How y'all doing? What's poppin'? What's good? What's down? What's tea? How y'all feeling with me? <laughs> okay, so this reading is for Aquarius. This is a twin flame reading. I'm sorry, I forgot to say that. This is a twin flame um, reading, but it's also for a zodiac sign. So you know you can get more specific as to what you're getting on, what's, what's getting on, what's, what's popping, with, what, what's, what's getting down, with the get down. Um. Uh. Uh. Down below. I'm sorry. Girl, my, my head, y'all. Okay, this is the channel where you come as you are. So, yeah, do what you do. Pop a squad, do what you're doing, chill, whatever. But I just got in a little argument. So, my nerves is everywhere. But I still need to do these readings. So, what's well, up, Aquarius? What's popping? What's good with y'all? So, um, if you would like uh, to book a personal reading with me, um, down below in the description box is all my information. Um, I also have step by step as how to how to book a reading with me. Um, if you want to get connected with me and get more, get to know me more, I have all my social media down below. If you want to um, follow me, I have three different pages. I have a um, tarot page, I have a um, my regular main page, and then I have a dance page, dance concert video page, where. Um, I just I just use all these platforms to just inspire and um, shine my light on everybody in the world. If this is your first time watching me, please subscribe. Um, if this is not your first time watching me. Um, hey, welcome back. <laughs> so Aquarius, what's going on with y'all? Because baby, with me, I don't even know. I don't even know. But it, it looked like it looked like y'all got y'all shit together, or y'all getting y'all shit together. Or y'all are on y'all way to get y'all shit together. Or y'all on y'all way to get y'all shit. <laughs> However, whichever one. Whichever one, Aquarius. <laughs> okay. Um. So, what am I being led to tell y'all? I don't know. I'm just going to keep talking. So, for some of you, you could have just or recently... um. You could be following your passion. You could be um, following your dreams and following your destiny and really, um, really going to receive. A lot of you have been going through, a lot of you have been going through a lot. A lot of you karmically have been going through a lot. And um, you have been, um, you, you, you haven't reached a point or a stage to where um, you got your just due, but uh, uh, it's coming. It's definitely coming. Um... Some of you could have been working a lot or um, just um, working a lot. I'm seeing somebody. I'm seeing somebody that's that's checking on this, checking on this, checking on that. Like they're just running around, like making sure everybody is aligned, making sure everything is in set before they make an offer to somebody. Ooh. <laughs> Y'all saw that. Ooh. All right. Ooh. All right. Some of you could be uh connecting, reconnecting with somebody from a past life or just um wanting to mend uh wanting to mend a relationship that you feel as though um is worth exploring or you is worth um is worth the 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 past because the passion is there. You have you have so much ignited for the, you and this person um, to be together. You have so many dreams and um, wishes that uh, you want to be fulfilled with this person. This person could be a water sign, or you could be a water sign. This person, um, this person um, could have a Cancer Scorpio. Could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, or you could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Yeah. Last one, last shuffle. Smooth sailing ahead is what I'm hearing. A whole new world is coming in my head again. A whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. So, like I said, um, you are, you are getting everything in set, get everything in order before you um go charge to make this to make this offer or to um headstrong because you made a headstrong decision on something or a certain situation or a certain person is what I'm hearing. <clears throat> oh, before I start this reading, I want to give a shout out to a few a few readers that I would uh I would like I would recommend that y'all look at. 
One, Pretty Blind Eyes. Two, um, House of Oshun. Three, West Tises. Um, four, I'll give a fourth one, High Vibrations, because she she's a great reader too, I ain't gonna lie. Those four, those four is very fulfilling. Yeah. <laughs> they are, why am I about to shuffle again? I guess. But yeah, I think you should check those readers out. They are some great readers um, that I would recommend for y'all. Again, that's Pretty Blind Eyes, House of Oshun, Wistesis, yes, Wistesis, and uh, High Vibrations. A shakeup. Something is something. Something has awakened. Something. Something has has sparked you to to make you want to move. Something has sparked you to make you want to move, Aquarius. Ooh. Ooh. Aquarius. Oh, Aquarius. Wait, wait a minute. It's like y'all trying to get too much out. Y'all trying to say too much to me. Them hands, baby. I already know. I already know what, this, what I'm about to say for this reading. I already know. I already know what they want me to tell y'all. Ooh. Ooh! Y'all better chill out. I know that. I told y'all y'all better chill out. Okay, this reading not gonna be long at all. <laughs> Alright. So, Aquarius, y'all have been watching. Y'all have been watching someone. You have been watching someone, someone that maybe has this Queen of Wands energy, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm not even going, whatever, whatever. Um, you could been, you have, you could have been watching someone, and you could have been um, worrying about the the worrying about the connection, or worrying about the person. I say worrying about the person just because that is under the Page of Wands. The nine of swords is under the page of wands. So, and I see this as I see if you if if you see how the cards lined up, like how the how how the seven of pentacles is under the um the queen of wands. Like he he's just looking at him, looking at her like, dang, I can't wait till she she finally awakens. Um. Um, it's telling me that the angels, your your angels are um are 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 are. There's something you want to come, you want to come into fruition. But in order for this to come into fruition, you need to. It, it is asking that you use and ask, call on your angels and your guides and your um your your ancestors to help encourage you to speak this to speak this or to come to this person because this person oh the person has finally grown into the queen of wands that you know she would be. She's grown into the queen of wands you 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 knew she would be. And now, with that, you can finally, um, you can finally move towards this person because you had, you had, you had already been making plans for this person. Like I said, baby, I've been making plans, oh love, oh baby, I've been making plans for you, yeah. There's a question of my heart, babe, you got it. Don't belong to anyone but you, yeah. Baby, I've been making plans, making plans. Oh my gosh, okay, stop. Oh. <laughs> so, you, like I said, when I'm in the beginning when I was saying, some people, somebody is like making sure this is said, this is it, this gotta be perfect, this gotta be right. No, this is not right for my baby. Somebody is somebody is headstrong on making this decision and, and is ready because this there is their karmic debt, is their, is their payout. Is there a payout for all the karma that they've been through? Um, 
Strong tower Taurus. I always say Taurus. Um, strong Taurus energy I'm getting. But what I what I'm mainly getting from this is that you have um you have intuitively been guided to this um relationship. Or you have you have um this relation you have made you have manifested this relationship and um you are operating on your oh, you are operating off your higher self to manifest this relationship because you were tired of the situation that you were dealing with or that you were in. One last card for Aquarius. I'm not gonna take it. One last card for Aquarius. Ooh. They, I say one, they say two. I say me, they say you. <laughs> so, sorry, my card a little dirty. <laughs> but, two of pentacles and the queen of wands, uh, I mean queen of wands, why well, I'm talking about the queen of wands again. <laughs> two of pentacles and the queen of wands. Why Queen of Pentacles? Oh, you have to make a decision between a Queen of Wands and a Queen of a Queen of Pentacles. And you decided to leave the Queen of Pentacles behind because she was just draining you financially. You were tired of of, of giving to giving to the Queen of Pentacles because to me, she was she was more materialistic than the Queen of Wands. If you look at the Queen of Wands, she don't she 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 cares about nature. She cares about she cares about the earth. She cares to me. She to me it looks like she cares about animals and stuff. To the the Queen of Wands, I mean the Queen of Pentacles right now, she looks like she's only focused on um, money. That's it. That's all she worries about is money. And you're tired of that because you you were you, you were being drained. You were being drained of that, and now you want new. The Queen of Wands is your new. This they saying do one more card, Dylan. That makes sense. Yeah, go for what you know. Because the Queen of Wands, hold on. Because you know you are the Queen of Wands, justice. Because you you have you have been watching the Queen of Wands, you've been watching what she's been going through. All right, Aquarius. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me guys know what you think about it. Let me guys know what's down, what's tea, what's popping with me. I'll see you guys next video.